Good to see you. I know this is a long time coming. Elijah Lee. Yeah. Isn't old enough to vote. Yes, sir. But he feels most comfortable lobbying at the state capitol. How do we get as many young people as possible to the General Assembly? The 15-year-old can't drive, but he thrives being a vehicle for progress. Hey, how are you? Elijah is the founder of Hear Our Voices. Our young people, in my opinion, are the most valuable resource to any community. The nonprofit advocates for fellow teens and children. Our entire motto, our entire mission and vision is dedicated to lifting up our young people. So that means talking about human trafficking and child abuse in our communities. That means talking to community members and stakeholders within those communities to how we can better support our young people. One of Elijah's first acts was to raise money to build a safe room for victims of child abuse at the Children's Hospital of Richmond at VCU. And I think it was the feeling of not being able to understand what some of my peers are going through, their level of pain. I think that's what hurt the most. The young man from Chesterfield encourages other teens to become socially aware. His group provides seed money for causes fellow young people believe in. The great part about it is that we live in a world and a nation where change is always possible. The North Carolina native is no shrinking violet. Elijah regularly delivers remarks at marches and civil rights commemorations. His activism is attracting a lot of attention. Elijah has been featured nationally in magazines, on television, and even as a character in the comic Marvel's Hero Project. Oh, he's a leader within the classroom now, definitely, yes. Maggie Walker oh, High wow. School teachers Amy Maxey and Adam Rachi say fellow students naturally gravitate toward their blossoming freshmen. Well, the class has already pegged him to be uh, in the political realm, and we're just excited to see how far he gets. Yes, I do. I see him making a difference in the world. Elijah's already planning for a future beyond where most high school students can see, and he's only a freshman. It's just a part of my identity now at Maggie Walker. Elijah's bedroom, decorated with political posters and causes he supports, is his sanctuary. It's also home to his growing collection of bracelets and sunglasses. So my mom is not a fan of me wearing these in public, but you know, I, I think they work. He may shine, but Elijah admits he has worked tirelessly to find his voice. Yeah, I think I found this, this level where I'm moving through life with joy and passion, with hope and kindness, and hopefully that's what is reciprocated. I can assure you that as much as I have sewn into him, he has sewn into me threefold. With all of his publicity, Elijah's proud mom, Jessica, makes sure her rising teen stays grounded by finishing his homework and cleaning his room. When the rest of the room is saying, that was a phenomenal speech, or oh, you moved me, I'm saying, well, you know, you kind of rushed that. I'm, I'm critical of him. I want to keep him humble. The young man who has already accomplished so much says his journey is just beginning. I don't see the advocacy as this, this one thing, but I see merely my work passing on the torch from people like John Lewis. <laughs> Elijah Lee, yeah, all students, a teen who is second floor, always on the go. Just wait till he gets his license. I'm taking every day, one day at a time, and recognizing what can I learn from today, how can I grow today, and how can we move not only Virginia but our nation forward today. And I think that's the one thing that I'm keeping in mind. For Heroes Among Us, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.